Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a random sinew line design. And I'm going to try out some of the Dharma Trading Company zombie colors. So for this design, I'm going to just tie random sinew lines on the shirt. For the most part, I'm going to tie both layers of fabric at the same time. You can do whatever you want though, that's kind of what makes it fun is it's just a random design. And of course, everywhere where I tie a sinew line, because it's wax coated, the dye is not going to get under that area and it's going to be white. I really like this design. I've done several of these and every time I unwrap one, I am amazed at how cool it looks. Dharma just released their zombie colors for Halloween this year. And so I'm going to try some of those on this shirt. I know it's going to be a darker color palette, but I think it'll look cool. I want to rack dye this shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a plastic tub or container and then I have two rectangular plastic baskets which I purchased from the Dollar Tree Dollar Store which I'm going to put down in the container. I'm placing one of the baskets upside down and the other one right side up. That's going to keep the shirt out of the muck. All muck is is the runoff from the melting ice mixed with the dye. Then I'm going to go ahead and place the ice on top of the shirt. I'd like to go ahead and put the dye over the top of the ice. Sometimes if you're out on any tie dye forums, you'll see people refer to several different tie dye techniques by abbreviations. So for example, dye over the ice, which is the technique that I'm going to use, people abbreviate DOI. If you place the dye under the ice, it's DUI. And then you'll see other ones like HWI for hot water irrigation. There's a variety of different abbreviations that are used. I personally have found that I see some of the color splits a little bit better and it gives more of a watercolor feel if I place the dye over the top of the ice. In this instance, I'm just going to randomly place the dye over the top. I'm not going to do a specific pattern or design. 
Like I said, I'm going to use the new Dharma's 2022 zombie colors of Bracken, Moose, and Stormageddon. I purchased the Bracken and the Moose back whenever they first released them as special colors. And I've been kind of conserving them until they came out with them again because they're really cool colors. So I'm using up some of my older dye. I've never tried the Stormageddon though. I have tried it on another shirt, but I didn't own that one before when it first came out. So after I have the dye on, I'm going to add a little bit of additional soda ash over the top. And then I'm just going to leave the shirt alone. After the ice melted, I didn't add any more and I let it process for about 24 hours before I started rinsing it. I started rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the shirt and warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing in hot water to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Like normal, I did a soak on the shirt where I put the shirt into either a container or my sink with some really hot water, a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent, and allowed it to soak. That helps get out the excess dye without having to rinse for a long time. I changed the water out when it cooled off and continued that soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the shirt along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. Okay, so the shirt has been washed and dried, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I think this one is really cool. Like I said, I was expecting the colors to be darker, which they are, but I think it's really pretty. I like this design. I know it's not a geode per se, and of course you guys know how I feel about geodes. This one always reminds me more of like an aerial map. Like if I were flying in an airplane and taking photos out the window, I think this is a really cool design. And I like the colors. I like the color splits of the green and the pinky mauve type color, the blue, of course the brown, I don't know. I think it's really cool. What do you guys think? I don't necessarily think that this shirt shows off the coolness of these three colors individually. Um, I've used each of these colors on a shirt by itself. And I think those showcase the awesomeness of the three zombie colors much better. I'll post those shirts if I haven't already. I know I've already posted the one for the Stormageddon, but I've used the Bracken and I've used the moose individually as well. And they do show up and they are pretty on this, but I don't think some of the really awesome color splits show up as much on this shirt as they did on the shirts where I use the colors individually. One of the designs that I've been doing to showcase all of the color splits for these colors is an incline twist. And I add the dye over the top of the ice and I really think it just makes the color split really well and the shirts just look beautiful. I'll put a link below this video in the description for the Stormageddon shirt. So drop me some comments down below and let me know what you think about this design and these colors. And if you enjoy the videos that I put out on this channel and the content of the channel, I sure would appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.